In this video, we will see about the steady state stability in drives. What do you mean by steady state stability? You take a motor load system and you apply some disturbance. So due to the disturbance, there will be some transient response. After some time, it will reach the steady state. In case the system reaches the steady state within a certain period, we call it as a stable system. If the disturbance is large, it may not reach the steady state. In such cases, we call it as an unstable system. Now, the stability of a motor load combination is defined as the capacity of the system to restore equilibrium after any small disturbance. So, the fundamental torque equation is already derived in the previous videos which is given by motor torque is equal to load torque plus J into D omega M by DT. This is called the dynamic torque and J is the moment of inertia. So, when T is greater than TL, that is when the motor torque is greater, acceleration will occur. When load torque is greater, deceleration will occur. When motor torque is equal to load torque, that is the steady state because on that case, this dynamic torque becomes zero. So we are more concerned about T equal to TL, that is motor torque is equal to load torque under steady state condition. Let us see the speed torque characteristics of the motor load combination. Uh, for example, take an induction motor uh, fed fan load. So this is the characteristics of the motor and this is the characteristics of the load. So where will be the operating point? You combine these two characteristics, the intersection of the two curves will give you the operating point. So we have to find whether when I give some disturbance, the system can be able to come to this original position again or not. So if it comes to original position, it is a stable point. If, cannot, if it cannot come to original position, it is said to be an unstable point. So, how to find whether that particular point is stable or unstable? So, for that, this is the motor characteristics and this is load characteristics and this is the point or uh, operating point because this is the intersection point. So, this is the operating point and the corresponding speed I have marked as omega m1. So, at omega m1, t equal to tl because that is the steady state, t equal to tl. Suppose due to some disturbance, the speed is getting reduced. So, it reduces to omega m2. So, in that case, you draw a line here and mark this one. So, what is this brown line? This is motor torque. So, let me mark it as t2 and this green line is TL2. This is load torque. So you see here which is greater T2 or TL? T2 is greater. So when T2 is greater, motor torque is greater than load torque. It means that motor will accelerate. Accelerate means speed will increase slowly and it reaches this point A. So in this case, we call that this point A is stable. Now, for the same point, let me increase the speed and check. So, instead of decreasing the speed, I am increasing the speed. So, in that case, what will be the load torque? So, here you see brown line intersection, you mark it here, it is T2 and this green line intersection is TL2. So, which is greater here? Load torque is greater. So, when load torque is greater, when load is greater, deceleration occurs. So, motor decelerates and restores to point A. That is, it decreases and comes to point A. Here also, A is stable. How to remember this one, this condition, when load is high? See, if you are walking alone, you will walk faster. Whereas, when you have load, 
your speed will reduced similarly when this load torque is greater the motor will decelerate you can remember like this so the a is stable point so for any problem you can check any one condition that is increase in speed or decrease in speed and you check this condition and make it as stable or unstable we know the equilibrium speed of a motor load system is given by t equal to tl that is at steady state condition t is equal to load torque so this point equilibrium point will be stable when an increase in speed causes the load torque to exceed the motor torque that is what we saw earlier okay so when you are increasing the speed when the load torque exceeds the motor torque or this condition satisfies the point will be stable see you should remember one thing here i am writing increase in speed suppose if you write here decrease in speed this will be opposite okay let us prove the above equation from the fundamental torque equation this is the fundamental torque equation let us assume that uh, due to a small disturbance the speed is uh, changed by del omega m and uh, the motor torque has changed by del t and uh, there is a change in the load torque by del t l now you substitute that here t becomes t plus del t tl becomes tl plus del tl plus j into omega m becomes omega m plus del omega m so subtract this from this first fundamental equation let us subtract these two so if you subtract these two t t get cancel so del t equal to tl tl cancel so del tl plus j into you can split this into two so you will get j into d omega m by dt which will get cancel and you get one more term j into d of del omega m by dt so you got one equation so take it as first equation so for very small perturbations the speed torque of the motor load system can be assumed to be a straight line that is if you see this speed torque characteristics it is slightly curved but when you take only this small region it can be assumed to be a straight line so normally it will be represented like this so we can write it like this so del t by del omega m we can write it as dt by d omega m now apply this one in the previous equation and solve it so del t equal to del t l plus this term so substitute this and simplify it so you will get a first order equation so this is a first order equation what is a first order equation you see this is dy by dt plus some constant some term into y equal to 0 so this is a first order equation you have to find the solution for this equation so you will get the solution in terms of this one del omega m so the del omega m equal to del omega m not into e power this term so this is the is called initial disturbance so if you draw the solution here so del omega m to t so this is e power minus of something so the it is exponentially decaying function so you can write here if t tends to infinity this term is going to become zero okay so here to this uh, to make this term as zero this term should be positive here 1 by j cannot change because it is a constant value it is inertia only this term is here so this term should be positive so that your curve decays to zero so 
dtl by d omega m minus dt by d omega m is greater than 0 that is this term should be positive so this can be written as this part should be greater than this part so that it will be positive so this is how we will derive in uh, for the stability condition let us do some problem and check the stability of the equilibrium points in all the four quadrants. So this is the problem which is given in first quadrant. So you have the motor torque, load torque and this is the operating point or the equilibrium point at which T is equal to TL. And this is the condition for stability we have already derived. Now let us increase the speed and check. So if you increase the speed to omega 2 and you mark uh, that is the intersection of uh, this omega 2 line with motor torque is given as T2 and with load torque is given as TL2. Okay. So here T2 is greater than TL2. So if motor torque is greater, the motor will accelerate. So I, if motor accelerates, it again moves to some other point here. So it moves away from the equilibrium point. So I can call this as unstable point. Now let us see a operating point in the second quadrant. So this is the operating point C where T equal to TL. Now let us increase the speed and check what is T2 and TL. Okay. So always I have taken low torque in green color and motor torque in brown color. So you can understand easily. So TL2 is here, T2 is here. See when you are in second, third and fourth quadrant always uh, take care of this negative sign because when you are leaving this negative sign your stability will change okay so here which is greater so this point is 0 so TL2 is more positive with respect to T2 so I can write TL2 greater than T2 okay TL2 is greater than T2. Otherwise, minus TL2 is greater than minus T2. Actually, if you write, you write minus TL2 is greater than minus T2. So, here low torque is greater. The motor will decelerate. Decelerate means speed will reduce and it will reach the point C. So, C is stable. Next, in the same second quadrant, let us take another characteristics. Here, load torque is here and motor torque here. So, at D, T equal to TL. Now, let us increase the speed. So, TL2 is here and minus T2 is here. So, which is greater here? D, uh, this T2 is greater than TL2. So motor torque is greater means motor will accelerate. So if motor accelerates, the speed will increase and it moves away from the point D. So D is an unstable point. You can decrease the speed and also check. But this condition is for whenever there is an increase in speed. So I have taken only this part. Next, we will see a point in the third quadrant. So, let us mark that point as E. So, at E, T equal to TL. Give an increase in the speed and check the motor torque and load torque. You see here, this is third quadrant. Both torque as well as speed is negative. Okay. So, if you are giving an increase in speed, you take in the this direction this is 0 so this point is 0 this is minus omega this is minus t okay so 
increase in speed means you are moving in this direction okay don't get confused always take whatever close to zero as positive or it is greater than the other one so at omega 2 tl2 is greater than t2 so the motor decelerates and move to point e so tl2 is low torque so low torque is greater means motor will decelerate so in this case decelerate means going back so e is a stable point now we will take a point in the fourth quadrant so at omega m1 t equal to tl omega m2 that is we will increase the speed as i told earlier zero is here so increase in speed means take it in the upward direction you find tl2 and t2 but the important theory uh, here is t is positive here so here tl2 is greater than t2 always check this sign and this sign okay so tl2 is greater than t2 so low torque greater motor will decelerate so motor decelerate means it is going in the downward direction so it reaches the stable point so f is stable hope you might have understood if you like the video do subscribe to read electric vehicle channel these are some of the references thank you